Welcome to 24trains.tv, the platform that takes you along the most beautiful train holidays in the world. In this episode, the Bernina Express in Switzerland. This time, we won't start at a train station, but we fly from Schiphol to Zurich using Swiss. The view may be a little less beautiful than from a train, but we do find ourselves in Switzerland in under an hour and a half. Another great benefit of flying to Zurich we are on the train before we know it. On my way to Kur, the starting point of the Bernina Express, I immediately get a little taste of Switzerland's varied scenery. But the pictures that I am taking now are of course a lot less stunning than the ones we will be able to shoot later. The Bernina Express is considered one of the most beautiful train journeys in Europe. In this report, we will show you why. It actually has less to do with the train itself or the history of the railway line. The landscapes and the genius works of engineering are the true stars of the Bernina Express. We will also be visiting winter sports destinations such as Pontresina and majestic San Moritz. Our journey with the Bernina Express takes off from Kur. From here, the train will cross right through the Swiss Alps to northern Italy within four hours. We will pass over 196 bridges and through 55 tunnels, ascend into snowy mountain landscapes and will eventually find ourselves in northern Italy's balmy climate. For the first leg of the journey, the Bernina Express will ride from its starting point in Kur to Bergun. In this area lies the source of the River Rhine. This is where the anterior Rhine flows together with the posterior Rhine, which we will follow for a while. The water that we see here actually ends up back in the Netherlands, just like we will ourselves eventually. The first stage of the Bernina Express is relatively flat, but this changes dramatically once we pass Tusis Station. We are now riding the Albula Line, a part of this route that has been listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Not surprisingly, the mountain scenery is gradually getting closer and we are encountering various tunnels and bridges. It's amazing to think that most of these marvels of engineering were made over a hundred years ago. 